my beautiful star seeds, light workers, soul family, soul tribe family, friends. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, so I'm coming to you with uh, your weekly readings. This is Sandy. For those of you that do not know and those of you that do, you know that Sandy is a very lovable <laughs> doggy. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. She's the sweetest thing ever and she's usually always in my videos. Maybe sometimes you hear her snoring or playing in the background and a lot of you uh, wanted to see Sandy all the time. So here she is for you. Uh, Ray, of course, uh, <laughs> it's impossible for him to come into my readings with Sandy because Sandy is very territorial if in, uh, in the, on the bed. So <laughs> there's no way that uh, Ray could... Uh, but I will bring Ray one day to show all of you who Ray is, okay? So um, again, she sends you, she, she will be sending all, uh, all your love uh, to everybody. You just send all your love to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that, with kisses. <laughs> so let me put Sandy back so that she could rest. And uh, so let's get started. So, be, you know, uh, before I even do the readings, I do, I have, I have the singing bowl here. And uh, we're going to, of course, uh, you know, do a mini meditation before we go through the readings, okay? So I'm going to clear my energy and space. I'll do the same thing for you. I'll also clear the breeze off your aura as well, okay, while I'm, while I'm doing this. Um, I will also infuse, uh, for all of you that want to embrace it, uh, uh, fusion of light, emerald and pink through your chakras, and after, of course, I'm also going to invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective as well. And then Archangel uh, Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective uh, with the intentions. You can put on your own intentions while I ring the bowl. And um, of course, I'm going to invoke, you know, my higher self, my innate uh, universe, Holy Spirit, Mother Gaia to be here. I will invoke, of course, my archangels, angels, my spirit guides. And of course, uh, last but not least, my ancestors to be here. Okay, so uh, that this is going to be protected as well. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and for you as well. Okay, so now take a deep breath in and release. Clear the debris as well. A gentle touch of the breeze, releasing the debris around the aura. Next, I will infuse emerald light and pink light through your chakras. Starting from the crown, third eye, throat chakra, the heart chakra, the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root. And then we're going to go upwards from the root to the sacral, to the solar plexus to the heart chakra, to the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown. Take a nice deep breath in, and hold, and release. Asking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life. If there is stagnation, not movement, something that you've been desiring, wanting for such a long time, are invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life, in your situation. Take a deep breath in, hold, and release. Also for Archangel Invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough on the collective. Set your intentions if you like. Take a deep breath in and release. And last but not least, we're going to invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective, of the planet, with unconditional love, peace, kindness, compassion 
returning to good health, unity, laughter, joy, abundance, protection, and so it is. Beautiful. I'll put this on the side for now. Let's just take two seconds here. So my mom, Giovannina, and myself, we are sending you prayers, of course, light and love, peace and protection. I hope you feel us through our hugs, through the heart chakra. My mom loves all of you very much, and she will continue to pray and do her healing modalities three times a day for here on YouTube and of course on the collective. And now let's get started with your reading. See you in a bit. Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 2nd to the 8th of 2021. I made it just in time. I had to take some time off uh, this uh, past week and a half uh, in between the readings because the energies were so intense. I felt totally exhausted and I know that a lot of people on the collective have been feeling this and that's because of like the eclipses. In July we had like six, uh, six uh, planets that were in retrograde and are still in retrograde at this time and August there's also another one going in retrograde. So uh, when it's time to uh, um, regenerate or just to, uh, uh, just to sleep or rest uh, this is what I do. This is called part of self-love and self-heal. So thank God I'm able to uh, today feel better. I felt I feel much better and more rested. So I decided to come in to do your reading. And uh, of course, your last but not least, my beautiful Virgos. And um, I look forward in doing your readings every week and also look forward in uh, receiving your uh, supportive messages about my family and my mom. Very much appreciated. Now, before I get started with the reading, I do have some channel messages that I do want to give to all of you out there. Now, truly, truly, when I'm telling you this, I'm sure a lot of you have been feeling this, Virgo, but uh, there's serendipity around you at this time. And serendipity means that, uh, you know, it's being at the right place at the right time. This could be with anything in your life. It could be like you keep hearing a name or a song that means something to you. It could be numerology, but it's uh, usually it talks about being at the right place at the right time. And uh, yeah, so there is, uh, you know, you're going to be riding high in the clouds. <laughs> Let's put it this way, Virgo. Um, a lot of you are feeling blessed at this time. And I do see like um, unexpected changes coming in, but positive, of course, uh, or unforeseen changes coming in. Uh, just a lot of uh, uh, blessings that are coming in from the universe. Okay. And also... Um, some of you are going through a death and rebirth and a regeneration. So regeneration can be, you know, um, you know, waking up one morning and feeling like new ideas coming in for you, new opportunities, new beginnings, better than the ones that uh, did not come in through for you. It could be about an old relationship that went through a lot and there's a regeneration around that relationship or whatever it is. It's, it's really beautiful. And you're still at the point where at this time you're observing. You could be observing someone from far. Virgo or someone is observing you from far. It's about taking a, a observing things in a different light, and uh, so these these messages will not resonate with all of you, uh, but let's just take what is yours and let the rest go. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. I do have my new glasses. Okay, here we go, and um, let's look at your affirmation of the week. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means I am um, I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. And so it is. Now we'll take out a card from the uh, Spirit Guides. 
uh, spirit guides, <laughs> spirit animal totems. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll see what animal spirit is yours, what archangel comes with it, and what message there is. Okay. You got the raven, right? The raven. And it's uh, Archangels Azrael and Bokpi. And it says, prepare for change. Prepare for change. Beautiful. Now we'll take a, a card to see what it is that you need to surrender to. What it is that you need to surrender to. And it says, surrender to trust, Virgo. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. And take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So surrender to trust. And now we're going to take out um, angel num numeral. Uh, uh, I'm tongue-tied all of a sudden. Okay, we're going to take out the numbers here from the angels. To see what are the numbers that will be with you this week if you keep seeing the numbers that i pull out here for you that means that this is a confirmation of this reading for you okay virgo you got a few numbers here okay the first one, oh my god <laughs> look at this virgo no joke five sevens <laughs> so uh 77 i am brave i am brave i am brave and so it is number 77 is it is time to move on from the old patterns habits and fears now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions now is the time to be bold and brave 77 and 777 is i am in the flow I am in the flow, I am in the flow, and so it is. Your purpose flows from within you, and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. So these are the two numbers, 77 and 777. If you see these numbers like this all the time this week, confirmation of this reading, okay? So now let's get started with your reading. All right, Virgo. So this reading is for Virgo Sun and anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. Remember, it's a general read, so it may not, it may not or may resonate with you. But if it does, claim it. But if it doesn't, look at your rising sign because that's part of who you are. Moon is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And your North Node is about your soul path or your purpose. In the reading, I'm going to show you your recent past your current energy, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. And then after that, whatever signs that show up in your reading, I will uh, will do a bonus round. So only the signs that show up in your reading, we will be doing a bonus round. If there's someone out there, actually, uh, any of you Virgos out there that have the patience to, uh, you know, do a timestamp for me, that would be really, really great because... Uh, I would really need help with that. And what you could do is put like a uh, singing bowl, channel messages, uh, animal spirit card, or you could put also numerology. Then you could do the reading. And then after that, it's going to be the crystal cards that I'm going to give you, sacred geometry cards. And then you could do the bonus round. And then at the end, what the universe wants you to know. So if someone out there could do it for me, thank you so much. If not, it's okay. No worries. Okay. So let's get started with your reading.
Hey, give me a second, Virgo. I'll be right back. Okay. Just have to tell my 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 children to uh, they're talking too loud in my window. So I will leave you with Sandy. Okay, Virgo, thank you for your patience. Okay, my kids didn't know that I was doing a reading. Anyway, okay, let's look at this here together. Okay, so overall energy, you got the three of cups. The three of cups can mean many things. It could be something of your past. They could be interferences, people, places, situations. It could be third-party situations as well. It could be celebrations that are taking place with your friends. But most and overall, you'll see what resonates with you. And then we're going to go deeper into the reading. Now, in the, re uh, in the recent past till now, there was a new beginning that was laid out for you. So this was about you taking a new beginning and taking a leap of faith in it. But at the same time, okay, with the Nine of Swords, you were really stressed out about this in the recent past. Okay, there was something that you were really stressed out about. And um, you were thinking over analyzing. You couldn't sleep at night, okay, in this situation that was presented to you. And what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Ace of Cups. There's abundance coming in here for you in any shape, way, or form where this is about you being unconditional love as well, okay? Having so much, this is something that's very overwhelming, but at the same time, it's very peaceful. In the current energy, you've got the Three of Wands, followed by the King of Pentacles, followed by the Seven of, uh, seven of Pentacles. You're moving past this very quickly or whatever situation here you moved really quickly past the situation this is about your manifestations coming in so there is whatever that you've been manifesting is coming in for you and this could talk about maybe like being uh, secure the king or the queen of your own castle um being reliable it's about uh, you know success victory here okay um this could be about your finances and some of you have been seeding so you know watering seeding it's like doing your affirmations or what or vision boards for some of you whatever that you've been putting a lot of energy into uh it's growing here and uh, with the seven of pentacles you're looking at everything uh, how much you made how, how far you've come in the situation and being at crossroads but the manifestations are here in the current energy in the immediate future you've got the two of wands yeah you're making plans yeah you're making plans here you know about your future but there's still something there's determination and will but there's no action at this time what's hidden from you is the seven of swords energy reversed there's no secret here there's nothing that is uh, there's no you know you're not hiding anything i feel virgo or if it's vice versa someone here is not hiding anything here okay but there is someone here that's definitely feeling stuck with the eight of swords feeling stuck over analyzing overthinking about everything and the possible outcome you got the two of pentacles so you, maybe you're trying to bring something into balance and or it could also mean for some of you you're multitasking it could also mean for others of you that um you're being pulled in two different directions here so now we're going to clarify the cards to see what that what's going on here for you okay i'm gonna use these cards okay see what's going on here for you virgo Let's look at the three of cups and the overall energy. Okay, that card went flying. You got again the seven. So you got number 77. The king of swords reversed and the three of wands. Definitely here, someone here is not, I feel that someone from your past, Virgo, First, not this will be not for everybody, but just you know, bear with me with this. There's someone from your past that you're not talking to, or someone cut you off, or you cut somebody off from your past. Someone here is very angry. I don't know if this is you, Virgo, or the person you were dealing with, but there's definitely someone that's angry here, or not seeing something is not trying is is uh, is not uh, 
is is not able to think, um, not be able to communicate, not able to find solutions to a situation from their past. Um, you know, there's a sense of that at this time, even in the overall, you are reevaluating everything and maybe being a crossroads here. With the Three of Wands, I feel that you're going to overcome the situation. And this is about manifestations. Your manifestations are coming in, okay? Whatever that you've been manifesting, your ships, whatever you want to call them, your blessings, it's definitely coming in here with the Three of Wands. Okay, let's look at the full card in the recent past. So there was like a leap of faith here uh, or something that uh, a, a new beginning taking place for you. And you got... The Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. There's a lot of resistance in this new beginning in the past. Whatever this was of the past here, there was a lot of resistance. There's a lot of releasing. You were releasing with the Five of Cups, releasing resentment, hurt, guilt, okay? Whatever these connections were, whatever the situation is. But I do see that there is there was collaboration and there is a strong foundation here in a situation where... Spirit was telling, it's okay for you to go through this, okay? And I see that you're going to overcome this as well. Now, let's look at the Nine of Swords, because here it clearly says that you were not sleeping. You were worried. You were being, you got the Two of Pentacles again. So, two, two, three, three, seventy-seven. Well, actually, you have uh, two, 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 three twos on the ground. Okay, and what else here? Yeah, definitely here. Someone here is not sleeping at night. Uh, what happened to the card? Wait a second. Yeah, let me take another card. Definitely here. The Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Okay, there's also Taurus energy here around, but it doesn't have to be. This is about you learning your life lessons. There was something here. You were really worried. You got the Nine of Swords twice. Overthinking, overanalyzing. You could have been thinking of that person. That person could have been thinking of you. This is a, has to do with a, a person in your life. You were being pulled in two different directions here. But I do see that there was, a, there, there was an unexpected message or there will be an unexpected message coming in. And it's about trusting your intuition here, okay, with the high priest. But it's also about like, this is like, a, it's like a higher learning, a higher understanding. There's something that you're going to learn here, okay? That's going to bring you to what you need, to a higher degree, whatever it is for you, okay? Now, let's look at the uh, Ace of Cups and what Spirit wants you to focus on. You've got the Ace of Cups reversed. The Nine of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles reversed. So that you're going through like... Look at this, the Ace of Cups reverse and eight Ace of Cups upright. At times, maybe you feel like abundance or gratitude and you feel overwhelmed. And other times you feel that you don't feel that at all. But it also means that you're going within as well. You're taking like maybe that's why you're being pulled into different directions, probably for some of you. Um, you're going to you're looking within to find the unconditional love. To, to, it's, it's about abundance. It's about, you know, feeling overwhelmed. It's about being at peace. It's about finding out, like really digging deep in, within. Um, there's something that was lopsided here in a situation, okay? That was, it, it was not in agreement. Uh, you were probably giving too much of your time, too much of your energy in something and not receiving something here. And it shows me that this is a wish fulfillment for you, okay? You deeply want this. And I'm going to ask for another card here just to see the, con yeah, okay? But I do see someone coming in for you. As the Nine of Cups. You know, this could be you wanting to give love to someone or someone's coming in to give this to you. All right. But it definitely shows that something is not, it's not in balance. Okay. Let's look at your current energy, the Three of Wands. You got the Star reversed, Aquarius. The Ten of Swords, the Page of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Wands reversed, the Two of Wands, and completion with the world. There's something here that, uh, there's something karmic that you had to go and release with the Ten of Swords. Maybe you were dealing with an Aquarius. 
Maybe there was an ending with an Aquarius. For others of you, this talks about like some of you lost hope and faith in the situation completely. Maybe um, an apology or some type of offer that did not come through. Um, your guards are pretty down at this time, whoever this is. And uh, you're still making plans for your future. You're determined, and but uh, you're not taking action. But there is some type of completion taking place in your life. There's an ending and a new beginning taking place. And I do see the manifestations there. Now let's look at this King of Pentacles. You got the Hangman reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, and the, uh, the, the Empress upright. Okay. There's definitely, Virgo, new opportunities that are taking place for you. Having that minus touch. This could talk about fertility, creativity. This is about wholeness. This is about death and rebirth. Beautiful opportunities that has to come with your finances for you to be stable. You're not going to feel confused anymore. And whatever that was stagnant in your life, you surrender to it. And some of you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time. It's about you ascending to the 5D, but it's also in a spiritual awakening where you're going to see the clarity in everything that you always wanted to see. Okay? You're going to get the clarity. Now let's look at the Seven of Pentacles in the current energy. Got the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups. And the Magician Reverse. Some of you feel that there's some type of man manipulation around you. Some of you <coughs> are not able to rise above uh, the frequency or the energy or the some type of energy you're not able to rise above it for some of you okay whatever it is it's like loss of hope or faith in a situation here um it's been obstacle over obstacle over obstacle it's been very difficult in the situation been carrying the world on your shoulders but the 10 becomes a one okay so something will be released but someone here is walking away whoever is reevaluating, whoever is at crossroads will be walking away you know that's what i see now let's look at the current and uh, the immediate future. You got the two of wands. Okay, you got the knight of wands, the queen of swords reversed, and the moon reversed. Okay, I have the king and queen of swords reversed. So for me, for when I see that in a reading, and what spirit is saying is that there's two people that really that have known each other in the past are not talking in the present moment. For some of you, this is what it has to do with. Okay. But there is some type of action that's being taken here with the two of wands. Definitely someone that is uh, not seeing something, not being able to communicate at all. Okay. Probably could be very angry. And with the moon, Neptune, Pisces reversed here. Uh, this talks about the moon reversed. Talks about this time. Uh, this is about releasing the fears that's taking place at this time. And probably uh, Virgo and this other person, wherever this person. You guys are having a lot of unusual dreams or visions about each other. I do notice that. Or feel that right now when I when I just felt that okay so uh, now let's look at the seven of swords of what is hidden from a reversed you got the king of Pentacles the king of cups oh my god and the king of wands reversed king 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 all the kings are here yeah well there's okay no nothing is hidden anymore the king of wands when it's reversed it's actually a good thing because this person is healing their ego Okay, someone here is humbling themselves. Okay, and uh, with the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups energy, it's about someone that's stable, reliable, security, and that has victory, success. King of Cups is about someone that's able to give emotional, is, is, is emotionally available, is able to express, give their emotions, you know, standing their ground. Beautiful energy here. And let's look at this Eight of Swords here. Someone's feeling stuck. Yeah, stuck about this relationship or this union, whatever this is with the two of cups. King of wands, king, queen of wands upright. There's a beautiful transformation where this is you or it doesn't have to be you, but it could be you or it could be someone you know. Okay, there's someone that was feeling stuck about a situation here or about a, a union or two people coming together. But I see a beautiful transformation. Scorpio energy. I see a beautiful transformation, a death and rebirth, okay, going with the flow. The Queen of Wands, I see her as the Phoenix rising from the ashes. And this is what I feel. Very magical energy here. Very passionate, very creative, very outgoing, outspoken, very generous and truthful. So there's something happening here, okay, in the sense that there will be a new beginning taking place. 
and I see someone releasing their fears and seeing the truth in the situation and coming to offer something for you. This could be also, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's about following your intuition. There's a completion and there's a lot of shifts that you're going through, Virgo, at the same time. So let's look at the Two of Pentacles and the possible outcome. You got the Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Cups reversed. The Page of Wands reversed. The Two of Swords. The Four of Wands. Okay. And the Eight. Well, very simple here. It was some type of acceptance that took place. Acceptance of what took place is when the transformation comes through. Something was not in divine timing. Or <clears throat> there was a lot of repressed emotions in the situation here. Um, there was a, a home situation where uh, people probably were unhappy. It was unstable. There was a lot of interferences coming into this home. And uh, I do see someone here working on their shadow side, which is beautiful. Someone here is putting a lot of energy and work in healing themselves. And uh, this is what is taking place here. And um, yeah, well, also you got the Ten of Pentacles. Fruit of life. This could be a new beginning for you in uh, a job maybe or in something that you're doing, a career path. Uh, it could be uh, two people coming to together bringing the Ten of Pentacles. This could be unexpected money coming in. But it is the fruit of life. You're being pulled into different directions. And there is some type of decision that has to be taken place here. Okay, so because someone here is still indecisive. And I don't need the deck here is about is uh the four pentacles reversed. Someone here is not holding back or hanging on to anything anymore. Okay, so this is your reading. Now we're gonna take out which of the signs came in through your reading. You didn't get a lot of signs though, like, okay, so this is Taurus. You got Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra. That's it. You got five signs that came through. So now before we go into uh, the bonus, we're going to look at what crystals are for you, Virgo. Virgo, what crystals do they need for this week? There we go. And the first one you got is emerald. And I will read you. Uh, the appearance of it is yellow green to blue green, transparent when cut and, and uh, milky when raw. Okay. And the healing properties is uh, promotes inspiration and patience. It brings love, happiness, and fidelity. Helps the body heal after an illness, encourages mutual understanding and benefits partnership and friendships, aids clarity, goal attainment, and alertness. And this is for the heart chakra. And it calms and opens the heart chakra. It promotes unconditional love and encourages cooperation and understanding. Emerald. The next one you got is Topaz. The appearance is transparent in golden yellow, blue, brown, clear, reddish, pink, or green. And the healing properties, it stimulates, recharges, and re-motivates. Illuminates the path to achieving goals. It suits and promotes trust to the universe. Enhances joy, abundance, and generosity. Supports affirmations and vi vi visualizations. It encourages confidence, openness, and honesty. And the chakra for this is the crown, the third eye, the throat, and the heart chakra. Okay, and this it cleans the aura. It, pr it promotes relaxation, ac accelerates spiritual development, aids expressing and communicating ideas. Topaz and Emerald are the two crystals that you will be needing this week and for as long as you need it. 
if you check underneath the video, you do have, you will see uh, two websites that you can get a percentage off under my name if you like to um, support uh, a small family business. Okay, now we're going to look at the sacred geometry. Virgo, Virgo. Okay, let's look at the card. You got number seventeen again. Another another seven. Seventeen that equals to an eight. So let's take a look at this together. And this is hedron and it's nurture and create. And your affirmation is, I allow, my, I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. And so it is. When this card arises, it's time to allow yourself to express the joy and pure essence of what you are here to create. It is not only the joy of creation to be, but the happiness of childhood memories and the feeling of protection and guidance that has been given and shown to us from a loving and supporting upbringing. It is also based on the relationship with ourselves and friendship from others. Nurture yourself and listen to the needs and wants your body craves to keep you feeling alive. The essence of our creativity and the ability to give birth, both physically and mentally, are imperative here. Now, the practical application of this card is... Uh, now, before I even go there, okay, so this is about the base chakra, and it represents sexuality, creativity, emotions, desires, addictions, birth of ideas and giving birth, issues of worth and your body. Ambition and drive are also indicated, and control issues can arise in this center. Our intuition starts within this chakra. Allow yourself to experience the sexuality and the drive that is innate within us. Meditate on the color orange. Let your hair down and dance as if no one is watching. It's time to nurture the expressive and artistic abilities you have You have brewing inside of you. We all have a gift, whether it's through writing, art, performing art, or even speaking. Expressing yourself in your chosen talent allows you to feel the joy and pleasure you deserve. If you have experienced childhood abuse, even as an adult, it is important to get the help you need, whether it be via complimentary therapies or seeking out a good counselor it is time to heal the past if you are pregnant nurture nourish and love yourself and the divine soul you will soon give birth to and the crystals that go with this is carnelian tangerine quartz and shri uh, praise so carnelian tangerine quartz and shri praise those are the crystals okay so this is your card we'll leave this here and now we're gonna look at what the star, what your star seeds want to tell you. What is the message here from your star seeds, and then we'll go into the bonus after this card. Okay. Oops. You got two cards, Virgo. Let's check them out. Forge, don't follow. And this is, talks about pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. So pave a new path and be the leader you wish you had. The next one is activated earth. Activated earth. And it says here, power places, ley lines, and trust where you're led. So trust where you're led. Because that was your what you needed to surrender to, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, you need to surrender to trust. Okay, so now let's get started with uh, the bonus round. Now the bonus round, like I said, this could be about your chart. Okay, these could be all the, the, the signs of your chart. It could be about you, a friend, a co-worker. It could be about your loved ones. It could be about your better half, whoever it is. For This could be also for business as well, okay? It could also be business, part, business people or business as well for you, okay? Now, if you're dealing with a uh, Virgo, if you're dealing with a uh, Taurus, no, yeah, Taurus, yes. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. They're not feeling stuck anymore. Their guards are down, okay? But something is not in divine timing 
and there's a lot of repressed emotions here and so and so, someone is being pulled in two different directions if you're dealing with a aquarius virgo if you're dealing with an aquarius virgo There's a wish fulfillment that's coming true if you're dealing with a Virgo. Uh, Virgo, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, okay? There's like a bunch. There could be fears, whether it's you or them, uh, or not, or not something that uh, you're not seeing. You're something that you're not seeing, or it could be vice versa. Uh, but also, I also feel that there's like something that you're receiving that's really beautiful here, and it's abundance in any shape, way, or form, and a lot of passion here. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, someone here is indecisive. someone humbling themselves someone's taking action forward and they're coming out of a time of healing there's going to be new new forms of communication taking place if you're dealing with a pisces virgo I see that the communication uh, between you and this uh, person uh, has uh, there's a delay here in communicating. They're not; it's not coming in. Someone here probably made a new went to a new went to a new direction. Um, but I do see though, even though at this like messages are not coming in at this time, they released a lot of people around them. I feel uh, there is going to be like some type of like. Um, Something is coming into balance with this uh, Pisces. Okay, if you're dealing with a Libra, I see someone relocating or moving here or going through a process. Um, there's, a, there's a process here in this situation. Uh, someone is going to be taking time out here. They're probably going to go away or on vacation or somewhere secluded where they need some time off because they need to reevaluate everything. Someone here is not emotionally available at this time because of a choice that they made, okay? Now, we're going to go to part two of this. So just give me a second. Okay. I'll explain to you in a second. I'm surprised you only got five signs today. Okay, so we're going to do heart to heart, soul to soul. So sometimes it's very hard for people to be vulnerable. Even the person's closest to you sometimes have a hard time being vulnerable. Well, because, you know, when they're vulnerable, you know, if people, if their feelings get hurt. This could also be from someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. It could be like an ex-lover, ex-friend, anybody. Someone that though, maybe there was a misunderstanding. Think about anybody in particular, okay? So just use your good judgment, Virgo. And uh, trust your intuition on this, okay? So, if you're dealing with a Taurus, heart to heart, soul to soul, Virgo, what are the messages? Someone here is feeling annoyed. I am making plans. They have passion, but they're feeling distant, distant at this time. I'm ready for more than just texts. You are hard to forget. You give me so much to look forward to. Okay, that those are the messages. Now, if you're if uh, you're dealing with Aquarius, heart to heart, soul to soul. I don't care what people think anymore. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. They are guarded. I can't walk away is another message from them. Oh, this one goes here. Too much messages. One more card. 
okay? <laughs> I want to talk to you. They're very, they have anxiety and no one else matters now. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, heart to heart, soul to soul, you changed my whole direction. You're honest. I am choosing you. This is with a Scorpio. And at this time, they might be cold or feel cold. Now, if you're dealing with a Pisces, heart to heart, soul to soul, Virgo, you are old flames. I am afraid to trust. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. I'm still moved by you. I want a future with you. My karmic story is ending. If you're dealing with a Libra, your words speak to me like no one, no others can. Be patient with me, please. I am overcoming my fears. You hit me out of nowhere. So those were your messages. I hope you enjoyed that. Now we're going to pick out a card from the universe to see what the universe wants to relate to you. Here we go. Okay, well, you have more. You have a lot of messages from the universe. First one is gratitude. So having gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Gratitude. Next one is intuition. Each person... Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Follow your intuition. Have gratitude. You have right action. Aparigraha literally means everything that go. Okay, so this is a, a meaning. Let everything that wants to go, go, Virgo. And everything that wants to come, come taking the right action then you have grief tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts and it's associated with love hand in hand divine source is the idea that no person place or thing is your salvation only love itself so beautiful thank you universe and thank you virgos for tuning in with me and i hope that you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like and share know that i have your back and that i love you all remember love always wins and love has won but also remember we are one one consciousness and uh all this shall pass and i'll see you soon and i'll see you next week please take care and have a great week ahead bye bye